Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. When you look at a corn plant, you may not realize all the things that are going on especially when we get to the reproductive stages. Once those tassels come out, and now we hit R1, or reproductive stage one, with silking, lots of things are going on inside the corn plant. When you think about those silks, they're actually, each one of those silks is attached to an individual kernel. Yeah, and once those silks get pollinated, from all that pollen that's dropping off the tassel, that pollen basically fertilizes that plant and that individual kernel. And that moves down that silk. Once it's fertilized, then that silk is going to detach itself from that individual kernel. So that's where you can figure out real fast, hey, did my corn plant get properly pollinated? If you were to strip away all the husk and everything, you can just shake that ear a little bit. And if the silks drop off, well, they got fertilized then. The first stage you're gonna be at after that, which would be R2, reproductive stage two, is blister. So it'll be uh, like a little blister, you know, it's pretty descriptive, that kernel. Then the next stage after that, R3, will be the milk stage. So as you break open those kernels now, it's gonna be a milky white substance inside each kernel. They're starting to accumulate some starch, they're starting to uh, accumulate all the nutrients that are gonna be inside that kernel. Then the next stage is the dough stage. So that milk is starting to get a little thicker. Uh, we're starting to see that kernel getting a little more firm. Uh, then the next stage is the dent stage. And when we think about that, that's pretty descriptive as well. Well, all that basically means is that kernel that was now plump is actually starting to shrink down a little bit. And so there will be an indentation in that top of the kernel. So that's where you get the dent stage. And then after that, you've got physiological maturity. So once you're at maturity though, there's still, those kernels are still fairly wet. So a farmer doesn't like to harvest them even once he's reached physiological maturity. He wants the corn plant to just naturally dry down even more, have those kernels dry from say 35% moisture that they might be at when they reach maturity down to about 15 to 20% so he can handle them properly on his farm. Well, when that corn kernel reaches maturity, uh, a lot of farmers will refer to that as black layer. We've reached black layer because now where that kernel has been attached to the ear or to the cob and it's been feeding that kernel all the way along, uh, now that, that little feeding tube basically uh, becomes black. So when you break that kernel off the ear, at the base of it, it's that you're actually gonna see a little black spot there. And, and once we've reached that point, that kernel isn't getting fed anymore. Now, it really doesn't matter what's going on out in the field so much. We're just more concerned about the weather. If we're getting some good dry down days, we're getting some good heat, some good sunlight. If the husk starts to open up a little bit, perhaps, there's a lot of different characteristics that corn plants will have that influence the dry down and how quickly we're going to be able to harvest that kernel. Then the farmer will come along at harvest time and he's shooting for corn that's somewhere in the 15 to 22 percent moisture range depending on what he's going for but if it's a grain farmer that's going to put it in the bin uh, he wants to get it relatively dry uh, i would say 22 percent would be kind of the high end uh, and then they can run it through a grain dryer which is basically going to blow hot air through the grain for a while uh, to try and bring more moisture out of that kernel to get it down dry enough that it's safe to store. It's important for farmers to understand all these different stages that the corn plant goes through. And it's also important for farmers to understand how to control our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to do it on your farm coming up later in the show.